Hey everyone, Chris here, and uh, today we're going to go ahead and finish off the component manager. Now, if you remember before, we finished writing the header here. Now, one of the things I did offline is I did go through and I did create all those functions. So, why don't I give you a minute to just create those, and then we'll be back. Alright, now you should have created all those uh, functions there. And now we're just going to go in and finish implementing the uh, CPP file. So the first thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to want to include game object. And this is because we uh, pre-declared it in the uh, component manager .header, um, so that we can use them in both places. Otherwise, we get uh, nasty problems that we want to avoid. So we're going to go here now into the uh, constructor. And we're going to start adding uh, the... Uh, different variables we want to initialize. First one we're going to initialize is the size we want of components. So this size will actually uh, be the number of components, the block. So every time we hit this limit, we'll add that many components uh, in size and block. So initially we'll have a block of 2000. This will prevent the vector from resizing early on when we're building, a, adding a lot of components to the game. And I picked a number like 2000 because we're probably not going to hit that limit too quickly, at least right away in a single scene. So we can just uh, work with what we have here. Well, I seem to have an error there. Let's see. Should be. No. Oh, did I just spell miss? Ah, must have misspelled component there. Oh, well, that's OK. Now we're going to call resize components. We can actually just go down here, grab that up. I like doing that. I think it's faster. I don't, but it's faster for me, for sure. So next we're going to go down and, oh, it appears like I forgot to add a function in here. So we're just going to add that function. This is just going to be a void component manager, colon, colon. Clear. Oh, did I forget to add this in the header? I think I may have forgot to add that in the head. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, I forgot to add a function in the header, so we'll just uh, go back and add that function. There we go. And this function is just going to uh, go through the uh, component vector iterator. I'm just going to copy that const iterator there and place that one in there. And we're just going to make this equal to this m components begin and make sure that it's not equal to this M components end and then we're just going to pre-increment the iterator close out that for loop inside here we are just going to call delete open bracket uh, star for the dereference the pointer and call that and that'll just uh, delete all the components and then we just call M components clear so that the list is actually empty. Now make sure not non C sharp here. Gotta use small letters for these function calls. And then we're also gonna clear the M render components. So we'll call that and that'll just clear the render components. We don't have to delete from the render components because we actually copy the pointer in, so it'll be handled by all by the one delete. All right, uh, I think what's next? Oh, it seems like I forgot to add a couple other functions, uh, so I'm just gonna quickly add those in. Uh, a create function, we need to add in here. And then we need to add in a destroy function. We're not actually going to use the create function. I just like I just add them so that we have them when we need them. 
So let's just copy those over. Move the clear since we have it already. And just quickly implement these functions here and then we'll be good to go. All right, so destroy is all destroy is going to do is destroy is going to call clear. That's all it does. Create isn't going to do anything for the moment, so we don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to look at uh, adding components here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to increment this uh, m current component count. That's just so we can keep track of the current number of components. And we always want to make sure we do that. Otherwise, uh, when it comes to resizing, it won't actually uh, it won't resize because there'll be that many components there, but it won't know there's that many components there because I don't I don't want to test on the size of a vector. I want to keep a count that I can keep track of uh, rather than constantly calling size of vector. And size of vector, uh, it, it I think it's it's always accurate for the size of a vector, but I'd rather keep track of it myself. Um, I'm not really sure why that is, but that's the way I'm decided to plan this out. So here we're going to do this and we're going to see if it's equal to M current component size minus one. And if it is, we're just going to, oh, I think I made a typo in there. Oh, I forgot the S in there. So if it is, we're just going to call resize components. And when we come to writing that later, that'll just resize the vector for us. Increasing it. All right, now let's go to adding the component. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check if the uh, component is a renderer. So we're going to do this by uh, just going through. Let me make sure I included renderer up here. Yeah, I already have renderer included, so we're good. So we're just going to uh, do this. And we're going to do a dynamic cast. And we're just going to give it the type of renderer. And we're going to pass in the L component. Basically what this will do is if the component is a type of L component, if it is a renderer, if it, if it has renderer anywhere in its inheritance tree, then it will uh, be true and the, what's inside the if statement will get uh, triggered. Oh, sorry, my email's beeping at me there. So now we're just going to do render components, push back, and we're going to push back renderable here. All right. Next, we are going to uh, push back the uh, actual component to the components list. Then we are going to get the position of the component in the uh, vector. And then we're going to return M components at that particular position. And that's just so we uh, finish up there. I'm just going to go take a look at my notes and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And now we're going to continue on and we're going to implement the uh, remove component. So this one is a fairly short one. This is just a helper function. Uh, basically, we just look at M components. And we're going to call erase on it. And we're going to pass in the uh, component iterator that uh, is a parameter there. And then we're just going to return true. This is just a helper function to uh, go through, and uh, we'll use it with this uh, next one. We're going to write remove components with game object. So in this one, we're actually going to create a component vector, 
uh, using the type def we created. And this is just going to be called components to remove. And then we're just going to iterate through uh, with uh, a for loop over the uh, with the iterator with the const iterator in this case because we're not actually going to be modifying anything we just want to find the uh, find the components that we want to remove And then we're just gonna make sure that it's not equal to the uh, this M components. Make sure I can spell right there. M components end. And then we're just going to increment the iterator. Now from there, we're just going to inside here, we're just going to check if the uh, dereferenced iterator dot game object or m game object is equal to the l object we pass in. If it is, we're going to add it to the uh, components to remove vector and we're just going to push it back like that and then we're going to create another uh, for loop down here and this one is going to be instead of m components to remove it's good or m components it's going to be m components to remove without the this though We're still going to use the const iterator and then we're going to call remove component and pass in the iterator. And there we go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and write the resize components uh, function here. So first thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to call m components dot resize and we're going to pass in the m current components size and we're going to add to that the m component size which is that 2000 that we set earlier and this will just resize the vector without cutting off anything oh I don't need those uh, scope brackets there not really sure why I hit them <laughs> oh well now we're going to increment the current component size by the component size so that next time we resize it'll be resized properly and that's it for the resize there's it's, there's not much to it all right now we're going to go through and we're going to uh, work on uh, setting up the uh, updates for the component manager so all the components get updated so we're just going to copy that uh, over from before we're going to remove the cons from there we don't really need that uh, for this and we're just going to first check if the iterator uh, game object is enabled sorry I don't need that there we just want M is enabled pull up the IntelliSense there again so M is enabled and we're just gonna check to make sure that's enabled because we don't want to update we don't want to waste time updating components that aren't enabled and therefore they aren't they aren't doing anything on the screen uh, and then we're going to if it is enabled we're gonna call fixed update now we can just actually copy this whole block of code right here take it down place it in the update in the late update and even the render and we're just gonna go through and make a few changes so in the update as I said earlier uh, the update uh, is the is the basic update the late update 
is the update that runs after the update and the fixed update runs on a fixed timestamp independent of the rest useful for things like physics in the render we need to change a few things but that's okay all we need to do in here is change it to uh, first we need to uh, go back and change the uh, iterator because we don't want the uh, we don't want the component iterator this time we want the render components so let's just go down quickly change that stuff there we can still check if it's enabled but now we're just going to call render instead and so that's it uh, for that um, so that wraps up the component class or the component manager class here for now so uh, see you later